You've heard it over and over in campaign 2010, politicians railing about out-of-control spending. But even the most vocal critics in Congress can't resist vying for federal money to fund projects back home. Here's Chief Investigative Correspondent Armin Katayan. A rallying cry for many Republican candidates this fall is their fierce opposition to the $787 billion stimulus bill. Here's Texas Congressman Pete Sessions. And no to budget-busting stimulus bills. And then there's this boast served up by Minnesota Representative Michelle Bachman. That's why I fought and voted against the Bush Wall Street bailout, the failed Pelosi trillion dollar stimulus. But it turns out no sooner was the ink dry on the stimulus bill than these lawmakers and dozens of others from both parties were reaching out behind the scenes for money to fund millions of dollars in local projects. When it came time to go get a piece of the pie afterwards, people were writing letters and uh, by the dozens. The Center for Public Integrity says it collected nearly 2,000 letters from scores of Republicans and conservative Democrats requesting funds from a bill they originally opposed and many still criticize. Well, the, last, the last stimulus bill didn't create one new job. But that didn't stop Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown from backing a $45 million project or Congressman Sessions from requesting $81 million in stimulus money for a Texas rail project, a grant he didn't win. Government spending doesn't create good jobs. That's but Minnesota's Bachman still wanted money for a state bridge she said would directly produce 1,407 new jobs per year. And it wasn't just Republicans. Democratic Congressman Walt Minnick of Idaho voted against the bill then wrote a series of letters in support of a broadband project. No He's now running this campaign ad. I've said no to more government spending. I think that's just the type of political doublespeak that makes voters crazy. Most lawmakers argued they didn't want their personal objections to prevent money from flowing to worthy local projects, the kind of government spending they still so publicly oppose. Armin Kitay in CBS News, New York.